plagues are a mercy for the believers and a punishment unto others. And uh, he mentions the famous hadith which is in Sahih Bukhari that the Prophet was asked about uh, Ta'un and Ta'un is the Arabic word for plague. And the Prophet said that the Ta'un, it is an adab upon whomever Allah wants and it is a rahmah that Allah has made for the believers. So this is our theological understanding of plagues. It is an adab. Notice by the way, he did not say an adab on all kuffar. He did not say this, our Prophet Sallallahu He said, it is an adab on whomever Allah wants it to be. And it is a rahmah for the believers. So this underscores our mentality. Dear Muslims, all that is happening around us now, we need to understand this as being a rahmah for the mu'min and we ask Allah that we are amongst the mu'min we want it to be a rahmah even as we suffer some of the pains and the pinches and the consequences in our heart of hearts our attitude is whatever is happening there's a greater wisdom and in the end it will be a rahmah for me famous hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam that anyone who remains in a land of plagues and he stays there sabiran muhtasiban patient expecting the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, knowing that nothing will happen except whatever Allah has willed it to happen, then if he dies, he shall die the death of a shaheed. And Ibn Hajar mentions therefore the famous, you know, we all know this, inshallah, I hope we all know this now, that whoever dies because of the plague with iman and taqwa, that death will be considered the death of a shaheed. And this is a great blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, running away from plagues, fleeing from from plagues. And of course the famous hadith, uh, which is the hadith of uh, Abu Ubaid and Umar uh, and Abdurrahman ibn Auf, that if you hear of a plague in another land, don't go there. And if you're in that land, don't run away from it. And then he mentions that w when is this hadith applicable and when is it not uh, applicable? And uh, he actually ends up concluding, and this is the opinion, by the way, of the vast majority of ulama, that it is allowed to travel to and from such lands if there are pressing reasons to do so. What you're not allowed to do when the plague has come to your land, you run away in cowardice and fear, thinking that running away will save you. That is haram. But Ibn Hajar mentions, and after him a Suyuti, and before him others call this as well. If you're in a land and you have a genuine reason to go somewhere, for example, to protect your family, for example, for medical treatment somewhere else, and so you leave one land to another land for legitimate reason, Ibn Hajar says, this hadith does not apply to you. Now, should you leave, should you not leave? This also goes back to the experts of our times, and we listen to the medical experts. But the point is that if we are in an epicenter, where uh, our experts have said this is an epicenter of disease and we are told we should not travel to flee thinking that running away from it is going to protect us that is obviously going against uh, what our Prophet said.